Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships episode 4. In the previous episode, we went on a bit of a crusade and took out uh, this guy here. It was just one one little uh, lonesome sort of faction and we came and took it out. They actually attacked me and then I, uh, you know, sent my retort and uh, took them out in one go. And then we went on the crusade down the bottom. We've been attacking this guy here for quite some time and it was pretty much all... I think we defended... Uh, I think we defended two or three waves from them. They sent two or three waves at us and we managed to stop them quite, you know, quite successfully. However, the problem we had was that uh, we, when we when we went to an assault, we sort of stopped them in the middle of the ocean here and then we uh, went for coup d'air and then moved down the bottom. We've been losing ships all the time, so that's the main problem we have. We've been losing ships and, you know, even though we're losing just one or, you know, even damaging a ship, um, you know, every time we fight, because we're not getting any backup, it was problematic. However, we've got the ultimate backup. We've got it HMS way, 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 way to Biggington. So we're going to use that and charge at RM. And we'll see how this goes. So, <laughs> look at this size of that. <laughs> oh, good grief. What? <laughs> that is stupid. That is just absolutely insane. Look at the size of it. We're going to move it right back here because we don't need to be at the front. We'll use our ramship down the bottom. We'll put the sniperington right at the back here as well. And uh, the assaultington, we're going to try and charge and take this thing out here. But obviously, this, this is the biggest set of defences I've ever versed. And this is also the first test of our way, 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 way to Biggington. So I don't know how this is going to go. But either way, let's try it. So we'll click go and this order there. Go. Assaultington. Move right at the back. You can hear the shots going vroom, 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 vroom from here. They're firing away and they're actually doing quite well by the, by the look of it. Looks like we've managed to... Good grief! Look at that! How we managed that? Was that ramming? I have no idea, but look at that! Oh! <laughs> that ram ship just came along and sorted it right out. Oh, excellent. Fantastic, right. Anyway, we're assaulting this one at the back and we're also firing away there. Looks like we've already got some damage on this ship. Got the targeting computer going. You can hear that noise. We've also got the shots firing away there, and out the way. HMS way, 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 way too big to It's almost off the edge of the screen. Uh, it's almost off the edge of the the uh, the panel here. Anyway, no ammo for the assaultington. Uh, the sniperington survived. No crew quarters for that thing, and we managed to destroy or capture the rest. That worked out. We'll do a brutal takeover, and we've lost our ramship, but we're going to invade their last area down the bottom here. So here we go, they haven't got much, it's a very flat plane, we're just going to move our ship to the bottom there. <laughs> just like a big bro a big brick and uh, we need to move, uh, we'll keep this, we'll keep the assaultington there, we'll charge down the bottom here, it's not going to last long this. You can hear the targeting computer targeting away and then bang bang bang! Look at them shots, they really do go in. <laughs> they really hit home them things. The problem is this thing can't take a hit back, and the problem is that they are targeting it, but it's working all right. Oh, that guy's lost, look, that marine, that, is, that guy, that marine there, he's lost a bit. Oh, they've got a really big cannon there, look. They've got a really, really big cannon. That massive one there, and <laughs> that marine survived. There he is, look. Yay, <laughs> he's happy. <laughs> he, jumped, he jumped while the ship was moving, landed on this one, climbed up and went, ah, crap, I'm at the wrong building. When that exploded, he just landed and went, yay, I'm still alive, look. He's happy to be alive. Let's click OK and we'll do a brutal takeover. And then we finally managed to take out all these guys down the bottom. Excellent. So these different areas, I don't really think I've really pointed this out, but when you take different areas, they'll give you things. So that one's got a heavy cannon there, so we can now build heavy cannons. That's got cheap guns, okay? That one's flamethrowers, so we now know how to build flamethrowers. That's powerful explosives, 30% damage. And that one's got telescopes. Ooh, that's interesting. We'll have to see what that is. We're going to move these... Uh, my main fleet around. We do really need to build some more ships though. We're actually going to build ship. I'm going to build an Assaultington. Because we are losing the Assaultingtons. Uh, do we retire the other one? We might do. The HMS uh, line, that's one of theirs. I'm going to scrap that. We don't use it. And uh, we've still got way too Biggington sitting there. In fact, I think I'm going to build from our small shipyard Another way we're way to Piggington. <laughs> I want to just quickly go to create ship and I want to see what 
There's oh, it's rockets. I thought they were like harpoons, but they're rockets. Not accurate, not safe, but pretty devastating when they hit. Excellent. Suspendium cannons, obviously. Precise uh, arrangement of suspendium crystals fires small suspendium balls with extreme speed and accuracy. What's the damage on it? It is... Uh, penetration damage 70. The rockets are blast damage 65. So, suspendium cannons are awesome. Heavy cannon, penetration damage 70. Slow firing but devastating, not even the strongest armor stands a chance. They're really good, them things. There's a flamethrower there, we know how good they are. Uh, someone said in the comments that we should, if we do get a flamethrower, which because I think we got it last episode, or we saw the flamethrower last episode, we should build an assaultington with flamethrowers on it. I actually like that idea, however, a slight problem with that. If you come in and flame someone, you set them on fire and such, then you put your marines on it, it's generally not a good idea. Also, you have to be right up close, so as I like to use the Assaultington, fling the guys on board, rise up into the clouds and just drop the grenades on them from uh, high. Now, uh, we've got a telescope there, there it is. Equipped with a telescope, spot can direct fire of nearby weapons. <gasps> Increases weapon accuracy by 30%. Open design. Way to Bigington. Open. 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 Why can't I open it? Why can't he open it? Why can't he open it? Cre create, create ship. Open design. Open, open the. Why can't I open the design? It's because I can't afford it. That's why. What I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel, cancel ship. Oh, and it doesn't give you the money back. Well, that's a shame. Urgh, that's annoying. I thought it would give me my money back for the, or at least a bit of my money back for stopping that. Anyway, we've still got all of these, well, I've got, we've got a lot of money, we're getting 63. If I go to Empire Details, you can see fleet maintenance is quite high, secret police, we've got, currently got lax. Uh, we could put it to none, but that's, we're not going to bother with that. Obviously, we've got a lot of defences as well. These are attacking over here. I thought that these guys would have destroyed them all, but looks like these sort of pink crown people are doing okay. However, no. These guys are the, the ones with the, uh, I don't know what that symbol is, whatever that is there, whatever that banner, you would call that uh, coat of arms there, they're actually doing quite well. I bet he, that Catwick's probably crapping himself now, ah crap, <laughs> there's all these people around, damn it, damn it, damn it. Anyway, let us just go to, uh, the, ooh, not assaulting me, no, they're assaulting them, and taking our Hatwick, wow, I think these guys are the ones we have to go for next. We'll go to create ship, I'm going to go to open design, way to Biggington. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that off at the front there. This one at the front. It was my, I always called it my ranging gun, right? I always called it my, you know, wherever that fires, that's where the rest hit. However, we don't need to do that anymore because now we have a telescope. <laughs> there it is. We've got a telescope and we need a deck that goes between it. There we go. Actually, we'll have a corridor. What's the difference? Hmm. A little, it's a little bit higher speed, apparently. Put a deck there. Oh, door, corridor. No, a deck. There we go, a deck. Job done. Right. So, we now have a guy with a binocular, or a monocular, a telescope, whatever it is, and he goes, yeah, uh, uh, do, you, do you want to shoot that, guys? And then that's fed through the bridge, and they go, yes, we concur. Um... Pass that information to the targeting computer. Goes to the targeting computer. They go bleep, bloop, bleep. bleep calculate all the numbers, and then send the targeting coordinates down to these five guns, who then blast the absolute crap out of the opponents. <laughs> we're going to save that design, and we're going to save it as the, well, the here, way, 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 way to Biggington. Overwrite that, yes. Overwrite it. We do want to overwrite it, and we'll build that, because we might as well. So, looks like they've had a bit of fighting there. I've... Oh, it's only there. It's only this guy now. Oh, he's attacking at the back there. And taken that. I'm going to wait and see what happens. While this ship builds, actually, that's because that's a tiny shipyard. It's taking forever. I shouldn't have built it there. I should have built it either at the small shipyard or at the uh, the medium shipyard down the bottom. Oh, there's a large shipyard down the bottom there as well. I don't want to cancel it. I want to keep my money. Wow. Yeah, that guy's coming around the back. And there's just they're just trading stuff now. That's been repelled. I think that guy's going to get wiped out. There we go. So, pause for a second. There's only now two people left on this in this game. Myself and that fairly large AI. And I have no idea what they have. And that's quite worrying. Let's go to my large shipyard. I also need to keep looking up as well. I'm going to go build ship. Where were we? Where to Biggington. And as you can see, that's taking almost half the time. Oh, where are they coming? Right, they are assaulting me. They are actually moving towards Kranzberg. So we're going to charge over there. We're going to got defenses we do have 
Yeah, we do have Silent Watchtower thing there. And they're assaulting me with... Oh my good grief, this is probably the biggest battle we've ever had and possibly one we could even lose. Wow, okay. Let's move our way, 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 way to Biggington around the back. The problem I have is that it is actually way to Biggington and if it falls, it's going to crash that thing. So I need to move these back so we are actually defending here. Let's move the Sniperington right back as well to there. Now I need... I've got the Assaultingtons. They need to stay where they are. However, I'm going to move one down the bottom, move the other one up the top. The one that's... The one that's the best, like the one that's least damage, is going to go up the top because I have a feeling this one is going to be rammed or taken out very quickly. This is going to this is going to be really difficult. This one because they've got a fairly big fleet. I don't know what they've got though. That doesn't they don't really look well armed, but you never know. There's some cannons there. I don't know what that is. A lot of standard gun. That's a ramming ship. Here we go. Let's try this. So. That one's defeated. I'm going to board ship there because that one's coming straight towards me. So as that goes underneath me, the Assaultington's going to fling some crew at it. The other Assaultington I'm going to order moving up there. And the rest, I think we'll just wait and see what happens. Looks like we've got loads of Marines on there. Excellent. We've got loads of Marines on there. Big ship. And they are charging straight towards me. Looks like they're trying to take out the bit too Biggington. I'm going to tell it to target that one. There we go. I need to move this other Assaultington. Oh, no, I don't. We've managed to capture their ship there. Looks like we've just taken another one out. We've captured their main ship. I'm just going to click move and flip it round. Obviously, we want to take that out. We've got another ship coming towards me. It's grounded itself, so I'm just going to order the Assaultington's crew to get it. There you go. They're all assaulting it. Now, this Assaultington is the old one, so they're, they're taken immediately because they're a lot better. Wait, did you see that as well? We have victory there, but did you see that one crew jump from there to there? They went whee and jumped across. Captured two ships. The HMS Pox. Ugh. We destroyed. Good. I don't want to capture the Pox. I don't want to... <laughs> Good grief. Captured the Pox. Uh, sorry, no. Destroyed the Pox. We managed to capture the Robust, this big ship here. Disarmed the Guardian. Destroyed the Resolution. And the Untiring, we managed to capture as well, that one there. So, okay. That's fantastic. We repelled them, and they're running away. So... I think we will... Well, we've paused for the moment. The Robust we will probably keep. The Untiring we're going to scrap. We don't need to keep that. Uh, the way we're way too big, we're going to keep. Snipington's good. Assaultington's very good. The Robust, yeah, we'll keep that as well. Looks like our ship down the bottom is half built. Yeah, half built, but obviously it's got. there's a bit of a problem down there in that it is um, it's building very slowly because of the... You know, I, I did a brutal takeover. So I took it over straight away, but we need to recover from war. And you can see that there, that's partly recovered from war. So I need to, because uh, I did a brutal takeover, we're still waiting for that. We've almost got our other ship, uh, the way to Biggington there, done from Stormness. And then down here, that is that is done now. So we're going to move that straight up to Kranzberg. Move that, and by the time that gets there, we will have Stormness's to Biggington as well. And then we'll move that up along with it. Which, yes, means that we do actually have <laughs> three way, way, way too Biggingtons. So here we go. We're going to move that up. And we're actually receiving minus 40 credits now. We've got too much. So I'm going to scrap the Robust. We don't need it. There we go. Uh, Salting Nimbles keep. Sniping Nimbles keep. Right. We're going to invade. Oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Move back. Move back. Right, there's our fleet. We'll invade. Here we go. This is the biggest fleet we have ever fielded in this game. Oh my god. Overkill? <laughs> Do you think this is a bit overkill? I think it might be a bit overkill, you know. Um, I don't know what I can do. I'm just going to have to line them up like this. <laughs> this, is in this is insanity. This is completely insane. We'll move that up there and we'll put that one in the little delve there. <laughs> We'll move the sniper to the back, which is basically just going, uh, guys, what's my job again? We'll click go, but this is not going to last long. It really isn't going to last long at all. All you're going to hear is, oh my good grief. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, there's no commentary required really, is there? Look at the state of that. We've got 15. <laughs> of these suspendium cannons with a ranger with a targeting computer 
<laughs> blasting the absolute crap out of them. Instant victory. Oh, we're going to go for a gentle takeover. And we're just going to invade Hatwick and we'll take this island. But that... <laughs> oh, my... supposed to do anything. Look at that. It's got one. Oh, sorry. No, it is 16 because that's snipering there. So it's 16 of these, um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 16 of these suspendium cannons. And it, <laughs> it just overkill much. Look at that. Imagine, right? Just place yourself now. Place, right? I know, I know you're probably sitting there at the computer or on your tablet or whatever you're watching it on your phone or maybe you're projecting it onto the Mars or something. Whatever you're watching this on, whatever device, but look around you now, right? Look at the room or wherever you are on the park bench or in jail or whatever and just think, well, my situation might be alright, you know, you might be having a bad day. I can guarantee that the guy there, that guy there, see him? There he is, that little guy. He came to work this morning, he kissed, you know, he said, oh, honey, I'm going to work. He picked up his lunchbox, he kissed his wife, he hugged the two kids, and then he walked to work, right? Or probably bicycle to work, being very green. Morning, came in, turned on the radio, probably had a cup of coffee, thinking this is going to be another easy day. And then he opened the window to let some sunshine in, and then he saw that block. <laughs> that guy there is having a worse day than you. <laughs> Right, let's just click go. Actually, I'm going to zoom right in, and I'm just going to just press G, and I'm going to see what's happening. They're all scrambling around, but it's not going to last long. I reckon one volley. <laughs> um, it wasn't one volley, but, um, okay, it was two volleys. It was two. We'll do a gentle take over there. Um, I think we can safely say that I might have this in the bag. Do you think we'll have this in the bag? There's another... I'm just going to move these back again. These ships are insanity. And the fantastic. I love these ships. These are great. Imagine if I did this with the rockets, though. Just a big pile of rockets. How awesome would that be? That would be fantastic. Anyway, we're firing away here. I love the volleys. We are getting damage back, though. But we can, you know, defend ourselves. You, by the way, you've noticed I'm not really using the assaulting tins. Just because I want to watch these get destroyed like that. I just think it's amazing to watch. I don't think any of these shots miss, actually. I've never actually seen these shots miss. They're always dead on, and I don't know if that's because... Uh, we'll do a gentle take over there. I don't know if that's because it's the design of how they work. I don't know whether they're just the... These, um... Their weapons are just generally accurate, them ones. Or whether it's because of the, uh... I don't know whether it's because them suspendium cans are very accurate, or it's because I've got the targeting computer and the targeting score, and the, uh, the telescope. Look at that. Look at that. Should we have a look over here? We'll ignore them for now. Looks like we've got a fire. We're putting it out. See crew walking back and forward. Look, there's the commander there. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, no problem. There's this guy with a... Oh, no, that's a gun, that. That's a gun. That's the old one. There's the one with the rangefinder, look. Yay, he's happy. He saw, it in... he saw it in high definition as well. Gentle take over there. I'm going to invade around the back. Invade around the back. There we go. And we're almost done here, to be honest with you. Oh, no, the defences are getting thicker. I mean, nothing that I'm worried about, you understand, but, you know, whatever. They're getting thicker. Let's just check the one with the rangefinder. You see he's there. Looking good. Yeah, that's the one. And all the shots go. Actually, watching this crew is um, fairly interesting. You can see we've got coal going from the coal stores and ammo going towards these things as well, defending it. We're pumping coal into this as well. Yeah, there you go. There's the little coal. Putting it into there, into the targeting computer. Oh, wow! Look at that! Look at that! That's getting real damage, that! Ooh! That's actually... Yeah, that's that's a bit hurt, that. that the thing is that these these ships here, the way we were way to Biggingtons, were always supposed to be... They weren't supposed to be an assault ship, like, a, like a, a, a tanking ship. They were supposed to be something you had, and they'll snipe from long range. And uh, something else will take the hits. But uh, so far... Gentle take over there. It looks like so far, and um, that's not what's happening. Oh! Did you see that? Just before these came in? It looks like they actually have sent someone towards me to uh, try and destroy me. And they will do it, or they'll at least take that area that they've sent some uh, stuff there. I mean, I'm going to take these two back. I'm not really going to... I don't really care if they take uh, one, one of my areas out because, um, yeah, bullseye, take that. Blasting away here. That just didn't last long at all. Victory, gentle takeover. We'll invade this one here. They're going to... Oh, there's... Oh, look at that little one ship. Um, we're going to have to click go because nothing we can do. Defeat. They've managed to destroy us there. 
I say destroy, it's not really destroy, the more walked in and they realised that I had left the uh, the key in the door, basically. <laughs> That's what happened there. Anyway, I'm just going to finish this off because there's nothing else really to do here. Um, see, that's actually quite armoured, that one. That's a storm one. That's actually looking like fairly heavily armoured and it does take some hits. Whereas this one, we're just blasting straight away. The armour is uh, absorbing that. But um, I don't think it really matters when you've got all these here. Then, that's actually lost a fair bit of suspendium, uh, the tanks. But uh, it looks like it doesn't really matter. Here we go. Here's the final battle of this series, I think. So... They have, let's just, let's just, let's just, just, you know, make sure that we're all on the same page here. They have that ship, and they have no defences, okay? I have all of these. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to pre press go, and let's see what happens. There they are, they're firing away. I think this ship's going to last about a millisecond. No, we only got half a volley off there. Some of these ships can't see it, that's the problem. But as it's come, as we hit it, it's going to come down. These, see, this ship here can't hit it. That's the downside of these uh, these ships. It's because they don't have very good fire arc. There we go. We're losing. It's losing suspendium and such. I think it's, I think we've taken out the suspendium chamber. I mean, I think we can safely say that that guy, or that ship, is uh, destroyed. Victory, victory. We have managed to do it. Those and the Genericans have won. A game on airships. Good. I think that might be the first ever win <laughs> I've had on this game. I actually really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed building them ships and trying them out. I I hope you enjoyed it too. It's been a bit of a short series. I know it's only been um, three episodes since we restarted it, but uh, that's just how it goes, I guess. I really enjoyed that. I'm up for continuing it, but I'd like to know what you think, because, uh, you know, there might be other things you want to see, other series and such. But uh, if you want if you want to see it go, or if you don't want to see uh, it continue, let me know in the comments either way, and we will go from there. If we do continue it, obviously we're just going to start again, similar sort of thing, but we'll um, we'll try and build different types of ships. I really want to build ships with loads of rockets on it. That's a, That seems to be a really good idea, and just use a massive spam fleet, just loads of them with rockets, just going, you know, this one, we have went heavy, really, really accurate. Them, them way, way, way too Biggingtons were very, very accurate. Targeting computer, suspendium cannons, and the rangefinder and such, the telescope, all really good for accuracy. But I'm thinking of going the other way if we start again. But let me know in the comments, and we will go from there. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and you know, partings.